percent behind you guys. <laughs> okay. Um, what was the reaction of the crowd overall? You know, I, I would take it that it took a while for you to go into the auditorium. What did you see? Were there signs around, or was it just pretty much quiet? Was it raucous, a lot of people talking, or pretty much dead silent? Yeah, it was a, a very civil crowd. Uh, I saw little signs. I thought we weren't supposed to have signs, but little signs were on people from people that were in the crowds putting, you know, giving people stickers and stuff. There was a lot of that there. I definitely felt as if uh, um, my views differ from a, a democratic style of, uh, you know, whatever they, what, it, what their policies are. So I felt very, it was very one-sided in there. I didn't feel like I had a lot of friends in there. Okay. Um, I would imagine from what you're saying, most of the questions were coming from people who were pro his policies. Without a doubt. Were there any other people who had the chance to speak that felt like you did? At one point he did ask, when he said he was going to start doing questions, he was going to do a boy-girl format to keep it fair, and if it seemed that most of his questions were coming from the pro side, he would actually ask for people from the other side. Well, he was a, I was a third or fourth question, so I at least got one in, I guess. You know, and there was one gentleman in the end who had a question, but he was on the other side. I didn't, I, I didn't hear all of his question. Okay, well, Mr. Anderson, I want to say thank you very much for your time. No I appreciate the fact that you had the temerity to stand up and ask your question, even if it was not perhaps well received. Sounds like a personal problem if it was. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.